In question 2 of this exercise, the problem statement says, in a computer lab, there are 3 computers for every 6 students. How many computers will be needed for 24 students? So there are 3 computers for every 6 students and we have to find how many computers will be needed for 24 students. So this is actually uh, a very simple problem and we can do this in a couple of different ways. Let me first show you how to solve this problem using the unitary method. Okay, so let's first apply the unitary method to solve this problem. To apply the unitary method, we note that six students, there are three computers for every six students. So we can write this as six students need three computers. Okay, so this means that one student needs on an average three by six or half computers. This doesn't really make physical sense, but let's keep applying going forward in this application. So one student needs half a computer and this basically means that 24 students will need how many computers now? So one student needs half a computer. So 24 students will need half into 24 computers or 12 computers. So half into 24 is 24 by 2 is 12. So we get uh, the answer as 12 computers. Okay, so 24 st students will need 12 computers. We can also arrive at this answer by using an approach involving proportions. So this approach is also quite simple. Uh, and in this we make two ratios which are equal. So we have to find the number of computers needed for 24 students. So three computers are there for every six students. So let's say that uh, there are X computers needed for 24 students. So X computers are needed for 24 students. So we form a simple proportion. The proportion is three computers is to X computers. So three is to X will be the same as six students is to 24 students. So this will be the same as six is to 24. So this equality of ratio gives us a proportion and now we can easily find the value of X. So three is to X, we can write as three by X and six is to 24, we can write as six by 24. And now uh, if six by 24 is actually equal to one by four and if we cross multiply now, x with 1 and 4 with 3, we get x is equal to 12. So once again, we obtain the answer that 12 computers will be needed for 24 students. Okay, so this completes question number 2. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.